Welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be an extremely, extremely busy day. I'm at the y'all the farm. You probably remember me putting this in. I got a scent post set right here, then a trench set back here behind me, and then I got the dirt hole. That's where I called coyote at last year. Um, these two farms that are neighboring properties, I called several coyotes on last year, but this year they just haven't been worth the crap. That being said, we were moving out of here. I'm gonna pull these traps up right now, and then we're going to a new property. And um it's looking real promising, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these traps pulled out of here. Grab my camera off the tree, and uh, we're gonna run to the next property, pull traps over there, and then we're going back to the property we just picked up, which is 400 acres. And I'm only gonna have three cameras, um, three cameras, so three different locations I'll be able to put traps on, which is unfortunate, but I mean, it is what it is. It's what I got to you work with, so we're gonna work with what we got to work with. So I'm gonna get these traps pulled up out the ground, and we're gonna head on to the other farm. And just a little public service announcement for anybody out there. When you're trapping people's farms and you pull your set up, be your, do your best to clean your spot up and make it look as neat as possible, putting dirt back where the trap was at. That way you make a good relationship with that farmer. And like this log right here that I brought out here, I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna take it back to the woods. That way you're building relationships with the people you're trapping on their farms. You don't wanna come in here and leave the place a wreck after you've trapped it because odds are they're not gonna invite you back next year. So make sure you clean up after yourself whenever you uh, pull your traps up, get those get the holes in the ground nice and leveled off, especially when you're making these trench sets. Go ahead and scrape all that dirt back in that hole. That way, it's nice and pretty when they come back. All right, so we have made it to the farm that I just picked up yesterday, and we have got coyote sign, boys and girls. I was walking this entire little soybean field right here, cut soybeans, and I found some coyote tracks right there, coyote tracks right here, running across this. So you got a drainage ditch that runs along this field down into these woods here. You've got a roadbed that connects to another field. You got this soybean field. I mean, it's just a big T for the most part. We're gonna put three traps in the ground. One, two, and three right there. Camera's right there on a the tree. So let's get these suckers pounded in the ground. All right, so the sets have been made. We got a three inch dirt hole right here. This has got homemade bait and homemade gland lure in it that I made. And then this right here set, this has got time of death bait and um, lightning in a bottle, both made by Dunlap Lures. It's a flat set with a little tuft of grass in the back, kind of like a mouse nest. And then over here at this side, we got a one inch dirt hole. This has Hiawatha Valley and uh, that's made by Cavens. And then we have Muskrat Lure, which is made by Dunlap Lures. So all we got left to do now is get the camera hung up the right way so that we can get plenty of pictures whenever we catch something here. And hopefully we catch something tonight. That'd be freaking awesome. But we're gonna get this camera set up and then ride around and see if we can find another spot with some traps in the ground. All right, guys, so we're at our next spot here. It's kind of a little point of the field. If I can pull it up on GPS and show it to you, I will. Um, but we're right here at the corner and down in this bottom, it's like a drain. Uh, we got the drainage ditch that goes up behind me right here between the fields. Comes straight down, goes down into the woods here. Was walking through just basically driving my truck around the field edge looking for these road beds and i walked over here and we got some fresh coyote tracks right there uh some older ones in this stuff right here but they're pretty doggone fresh so we're going to get us a couple traps thrown in the ground right here real quick probably two dirt hole sets one facing uh one of the dirt holes facing that direction and then the other uh, dirt hole pretty much facing towards that way i appeal for either side of the field and then uh the wind's going to do what the wind does but Anyway, we're gonna get these sets punched, thrown into the ground real quick, and then I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Okie dokie, now we've got these two traps put in the ground. I was gonna put three, but the way the ground's kind of laying, it's kind of weird uh, this is on this drainage to try to find three low spots. And again, I wanted to get my camera a little bit higher since there's no really tree to put it on back here. So I'm gonna show you what the sets look like. So right here, we have a double punch hole set. One hole's right here, one hole's there. The sunlight's kind of screwing with it, but trap's obviously there. Two punch hole, we've got a salt taker, and muskrat lure by Dunlap Lures. Soul Taker's in this hole, muskrat lure's in this hole. And then I also put some of my uh, uh, gland lure bait inside this as well, and then put red fox urine on top of the, both of those tufts of grass. Then we walk right over here, and we've got a one inch dirt hole, just one, 
And in this set, we have Tile Death Meat and Lightning in a Bottle, which is made by Dunlap Lures with some coyote urine on here. Now, with these sets, I did take this coyote urine and I sprayed a line of coyote urine from this, this way all the way across this direction. And then I took coyote urine and slung it up that direction because I have more coyote urine than I do fox. Otherwise, I would use red fox urine. But took coyote urine, slung it up to that, that little edge there. That way, if they're running that way, they'll pick up on it and follow it down here. And then uh, I connected with uh, coyote urine right here between the two sets. That way it would help out. But all of the coyote urine little crosses that I made in here, uh, they all they all lead right to these sets. Um, the reason I did this is because the wind has switched 500 times since I've been out here. It's blown across this direction. It's blown, and right now it's blowing it from my back that way uh, into the field. So I wanna make sure if they walk anywhere around this little triangle right here, uh, the little point that they get a swift of something and they come up and get caught hopefully. So I think that's going to be it for today. I got, I'm going to go to my buddy's house real quick and then pull that trap up where we caught the red fox at last. So we're going to go over there and do that, pull that trap up real quick. And then tomorrow's agenda for as of right now that I know of, I'm going to try to go by the other side of the property and uh, see what else we can find. And basically just let these three sets hunt and if they start producing pretty good in the next couple days i will pr probably pull everything i got except for two forms and bring it over here on this place because it's it's loaded from what sign i've seen it's a bunch of them here so anyway i'm gonna uh, run to my buddy's house pull this trap and pick you up whenever something else interesting happens i guess <laughs> so today we was a really busy day we got a bunch of traps put in the ground in a new farm and my phone went off and you see me at night time so you know what the heck that means we got tight chains guys okay, another another yodi this is the second one out of this set right here and i am tickled to death uh it's probably a male but i'm not positive uh it's most likely it, so oh you gonna talk a little bit for us there bud huh Jeez, i hear you is that what you got to say what is it what? <laughs> little talker, he's got a deep pad catch on that sucker too. Real deep pad catch. What's wrong, buddy? You don't like me? We're gonna get this guy taken care of, get the reset, remake done, and uh, hopefully we'll catch his buddy that was running around out here with him. I got a feeling this dude right here ain't gonna be fun to get. Not so bad. Not so bad. Right. Rolling over for him. Just like that. What are you, male, female? What are you? Another female. Holy crap. I am shocked. That makes three females off this piece of property. Three. Three off of one, three females, that's crazy. All right, put you in the box, girl. Heck yeah, that's freaking awesome. All right, now to get this sucker reset. All right, let's get this set remade. Number two out of this set right here. It's a little dirt hole with this log right here is my backing. We've caught two females out of this set so far, which is good, good, good. But I'll pick you up as soon as I get this trap bed dug back out. All right, got a trap bed dug out now. Let me get some wax dirt, or wax sand I should say. Keep calling it wax dirt. Let's 
sift some of this into our trap bed from the bottom. That way our set doesn't freeze to the ground underneath it. Get it set it in there. And get some peat moss. like that inside our drawers go back with some more wax sand and the edges a little bit more just like that pick it up shimmy a little bit bed saws the rock every freaking time go. Now, I need to find my bait hole wherever that thing is at. I got a feeling that's it right there. No, that's it right there. All right. Get our bay hole drilled back out. All the goods. All the goods are right there. I'm gonna give this a sling. That way it's away from here. ground in there is really loose. There we go. Now, a few dirt clods got their feet. That way they don't step where I don't want them to step. Just like that. Come back to here. Clean some of this up. Get it nice and uniform around here. That way it all looks pretty natural to them.
kind of make it look somewhat natural as I can. You know, we are dealing with a bunch of grass and dirt. <laughs> Pretty much just going to sift all this, just, well, not really sifting it, I'm just kind of spreading it out more or less right now. And then I'll come back right here, clean where the pan's at. That way it all looks pretty natural to them. I'm sure it's hard to see in this, uh, you know, in the dark with the lamp and the lights and all, but it blended in really good after doing that. Now we got this stuff picked up and rebated, same way we did last time. All right, so what's worked so far at this set twice in a row has been Hiawatha Valley, which is made by Cavens. There we go. Put that down the hole. And then some gland lure, homemade gland lure. Don't want to put a lot just because there's been a coyote here for a little bit. So a little bit of coyote gland lure down there. And a little bit of sheep's wool. Push that all the way down to the bottom, just like that. And that there's a finished remake. All right, and that right there is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button, drop a comment down below. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, guys, I will be at Skull Dragger Custom Calls booth at Dixie Deer Classic March 1st to the 3rd in Raleigh, North Carolina at this NC State Fairgrounds. So make sure to come by and say hello. Come by and see us talk trapping, talk turkeys, whatever you want, guys, want to talk about. I'm down to talk. just want to meet some of you guys and just be some of the people that support me all the time. And I appreciate you guys and everything. I know we, at this point, we've already hit 10,000. And we've been past 10,000 for a while, uh, but I do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for helping me reach that goal. Next one's 50, so we got to get 50,000 subscribers. And it's probably going to take a little bit longer, but that's all right. I'm looking forward to it. But until next time, y'all take it easy, and we'll see you on the next one.